Welcome to the AquaScan Scratch Test Tutorial. Performing this test in the comfort of your home or office eliminates variables like background noise, electrical noise, or radio interference, and makes for an easy way to determine if your correlator is functioning properly and should increase confidence in your correlator's accuracy. The scratch test can be performed with the AquaScan 610, 620L, and TM2. First, power on the correlator's receiver and the A and B sensors. Connect the antenna flags to their corresponding sensors and the antenna arm to the receiver. Then enter in a new segment of pipe of any length and diameter. Before you run the correlation, set the sensors a few feet apart on the floor, table, or desk and observe each sensor's signal strength. As the sensors are very close to the receiver, the signal should be strong. A less than full signal for either A or B may indicate a problem with the sensor's antenna. If signals for both sensors are equally weak, the receiver's antenna may be at fault. To simulate a loud, consistent leak, tap or scratch on the table at some point between the two sensors. Then hit the correlation button while continuing to simulate the leak. While the correlation is running, observe the graph and the quality percentage. A properly functioning correlator should return a quality percentage of over 90% and a sharp peak should form near the center of the graph. A faulty sensor may create a series of skyscraper-like peaks or return a low quality percentage. If you suspect any part of your AquaScan real-time correlator may be malfunctioning, request service or repair instructions by calling or emailing your local Guterman sales or customer service representative. Thank you for watching.